Hello, hello, lads and girls, this is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of a PC Building Simulator. Alright, so let's check out this broken PC. Okay, so it, it does give me a picture, so it is the CPU. I mean, I thought it was because he did mention the CPU, but... It kind of threw me off a little bit when he was talking about having no picture. That made me think GPU. Okay, uh, let's see. What kind of CPU was that? It was a... 8086. Well, I actually have one used here. Just gonna throw that in to see if... Uh, Well, tells me that everything works. Uh, was there any other issues with yours? I think you had viruses and stuff too, that, right? Um, let's unlock the RAM. Oh, you have an SSD, and uh, you should be booting off of that one. Filter heaven. Well, that solved all our problems. Uh, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, we're about to use parts. Okay, well. We got 600 bucks to spend on a CPU that is a coffee lake. Yeah, so the 8086 is the best we can actually get for that money. And then we have 150 over. I mean, you have an SSD, so I don't feel like it worth. It's that much worth it to get your number two, but maybe another RAM stick. Let's see. So that is Corsair Dominator Platinum, 16 gigs, 2,800. Faster Corsair. Let's see, two thousand eight hundred, right? Um, and I didn't even need to move. Why are you moving, bruh? <laughs> Uh, okay, that is 175. Yeah, that will be overshooting. <sighs> okay, we're just getting you that CPU. I mean, it's not like I need to get you anything else. It's just we had a bit of a budget left and I don't know why. I, I just feel like I want to see, like, what can I use this budget for to improve your experience? No, it sounds kind of kind of weird, but it's kind of what I, I like to do. Okay, so I have this much left to spend. What can we get that would make this feel like a brand new and exciting piece for you? Just something like that. 
It's just in my mind, but still. I kind of feel like I'm doing them a kindness. Alright, uh, let's just power you on. Making sure everything's fine. And put you in the delivery area. Tell you what, let's let's see what kind of overclocks we can do. I mean, it is an eighty eighty six after all, so I probably can get a little bit out of it. Might as well have a little fun, doing small little improvements for the guy. Okay, let's install all of the good stuff. I didn't even think what kind of power supply I have. Probably should be. Alright, an 850. Alright, we are set. That is more than good enough. Okay, did not like that. So, um, I guess we need to increase the power. More power. All right, let's see. Is that enough? All right. Getting up to almost 89. So that is pretty bloody good. So let's focus our energy on that GPU. Wow. <sighs> you have an 8086 and then you have a 1050. I just felt my heart sink in disappointment and disbelief. You have a high-end CPU and a low-end GPU. The disappointment is immeasurable. I am very disappointed in you. <laughs> Alright. Let's just see what we can get out of it though. Maybe we can get it to be somewhat decent. That's a stretch. I mean, it's not even a... 1050 Ti, it's a 1050. Alright, here we go. Alright, well, we have green cables, so maybe I should get some green light. Okay, red and green looks kind of sick though. Okay, cool. Um, well, guess there ain't much left, but getting a score on this. A graphics card score on this is gonna be bad. Like really, really bad. Okay, I kind of want to see what is for sale now though. A 1060 Extreme Edition? 
Hmm. Be quiet case. Some HyperX theory, 16 gigs, 2400 megahertz memory. And a complete PC. Uh, got an answer from Rob here. I'm using Rob's email address to contact you. As it seems he was in contact with you until recently. We received a package from you containing his computer, so we assume that it arrived at your workshop somehow. We just don't know if Rob sent this to you himself, or if it was sent by another. We believe that Rob's recent move to the house on the hill may have awoken something beyond, beyond our understanding. Rest assured, we will take the appropriate steps to put this tainted hardware somewhere out of reach, somewhere safe. As for Rob, we are doing everything we can to try and find him. I only hope it's not too late. Yours, a concerned third party. Creepy. Okay, um... There are some things that I'm a little interested in. I am interested in them that 1060 actually. So let's get that. Uh, let's actually get a case. I can do like a used parts build. Ram. Nah. I mean, it's kind of big though, but... Man, I don't know. <laughs> I mean... It's decent, not great. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would do do great work, it would. Um, How am I looking on the used RAM, actually? Yeah, I have some high-speed stuff here, too. Yeah, well, most of it is actually junk. Alright, so that decides it's I'm gonna buy this. I purchase a lot of stuff. Yeah, look at that. 2003 and then 3. And the CPU is doing amazing work. And then there's the graphics card yet. Uh, what? You wanted me to do what? What now? <laughs> nah, I don't feel like doing that. Yeah. Hmm. It was up to me. I would probably put a ten seventy at the minimum in here, at least. I mean, the improvement, you would see what that would be so good. I mean, we're still not talking like the super high end then. Uh, all right. Um, collect. They seem to know what was wrong with my PC and uh, they used all new parts. Gotta love those warranties. Okay, so with that out of the way, I'm gonna end off this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!